All right, we're back here. It is Wolf and Luke live from the Dignity Health Arizona Cardinals Training Center, joined by Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury, as we are every week at this time. Uh, coach, congratulations on the win in L.A. And I guess let's just start there. This is two years in a row you guys have gotten a win over the Rams, and that had been an issue prior to last season. Not that you've, like, figured them out, but that's a divisional opponent, and that's obviously the defending Super Bowl champs. What does that do for you guys? Yeah, we obviously needed a win. Um, both teams struggling to find themselves, if you will, and identity. Uh, both had starting quarterbacks out, and I thought our guys showed up with the right energy, right attitude, played really hard from the start, and uh, made enough plays to, to win in the end. I thought the turnovers were huge, and um, then Colt was really efficient and limited the negative plays, and uh, we were able to score enough points to get it done. And talk to me a little bit more detail about Colt McCoy and the job he did, Cliff. Yeah, just stepping in like he did. I thought the entire week, the way he carried himself, um, the way he prepared, the way he led, I, I thought it was awesome. It's not easy to do that in that situation with, with limited reps, particularly when he was basically out all of training camp, didn't practice a lot at the beginning of the season and still come in and be that efficient was impressive and um, we needed we needed him to step up and, and play big and he did you said this uh, I think you actually said at halftime 38 snaps in the first half just one negative play how much of that was him and how much of that was that sort of desperation from your team yeah I think a little of both uh, we understood the negative plays have been killing us we want to keep that number to five or six we feel like that gives us a really good chance to win every game and Recently, it's been 13, 14, 15 negative plays and get you off schedule. And you just can't survive like that in this league, particularly against some of the top tier teams. And that's what had, had really been hurting us. And uh, we were able to stay on schedule and, and stay in that game. How many of those plays in the first possession were scripted? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah, we wanted to come out and throw it and get the ball in space, uh, you know, with four out of the five starting offensive linemen from the beginning of the season out we, we knew it'd be tough sledding in there early and so we wanted to get the ball in space make those guys run side to side and then settle into the run game and try to get something going Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury joining us right now how much of those first I think it was 11 straight passes how much of that was also <laughs> there's no way they could possibly expect 11 straight passes to start the game there's a little bit of everything in that I think um, from the first time we, we played them we knew that was going to be their uh, philosophy against us you know give us space expect us to get off schedule they'd get a sack here or there and so we came out uh, with some quick throws and got it out of our hand and, and let our playmakers run around in space but I saw that you backed off in the second half though right you a lot more balance in the second half was that because you had a lead yeah I mean we, we'd like to do that more often we just haven't had a lead I don't think for much of the season to this point but that's how our Really, our recipe for winning has, has been at its best when James can, um, you know, lean on those guys late and, and play that physical style of football we like to play when we have a lead. You mentioned the offensive line to be missing four of your starters against Aaron Donald and the rest of those guys on that defense. Why were they so effective? I know I'm sure some of it was Colton and, and the, the play calling and just getting the, the passes out quickly, but that's a lot of inexperience on the offensive line. Yeah, got to give those guys a lot of credit. I thought they battled. I thought the competitive spirit was outstanding throughout the week. Um, Coach Kugler, Coach Nagin did a tremendous tremendous job of, of really prepping those guys getting them on the same page building that rapport and they came out and battled their tails off and Colt did a nice job of getting out and, and making sure he didn't take many sacks when he could and uh, that kept us on schedule and those guys held up when they had to what do the analytics say on going three for three on fourth down and scoring 17 points yeah I mean I'm, everybody thinks it's like by choice like I'm over going forward on fourth down like I don't want to be in those situations like we got to get first downs here but that's how it's been kind of going for us and hopefully we can avoid all those situations moving forward did you think was that more desperation mode going into this game cliff knowing man we've got to win this game i just knew when we had our opportunities to put it away we needed to put it away um i felt confident in the way colt was seeing it where receivers were playing the space they were creating and so there were a couple of times i felt really good about um just getting it out of his hand and he was gonna go to the right place with it talking to cardinals head coach cliff kingsbury i can't believe we've gone this far into the uh, the interview without bringing up buddha Baker uh, aside from the interception aside from what he always does from this team it seemed like watching the game if he's going to go out there and play with that injury that it, it instantly raises the bar that everybody else has to clear there's no doubt I mean people don't want to let that that type of effort down when you see a guy who beginning of the week they're telling you two to three weeks and, and then on Friday he's jogging around out there saying hey I'm gonna go um, special individual and, and what an amazing player and, and leader and uh, that was awesome to see 
How about some other guys that stood out on the defensive side of the ball, Cliff? Yeah, I thought J.J. Watt was was a terror inside. Yeah. He had five quarterback hits. You know, he picked up the one fumble um, that should have been a touchdown. For, he had a sack. Uh, he was was dominant inside. And, and then Antonio Hamilton, I think he had ten tackles, two pass defended. The one had a chance for the pick six. And he just keeps getting more and more comfortable. He missed all that time with the incident early in the season. Uh, but he's back and playing at a high level. J.J. let everybody hear about that. Should have been a touchdown the he silence. let the ref yeah. hear about it, too, um, which was not the best time to do that. But yes. the, rest, the ref could have banged him with a 15-yard and only gave him five. So he, he, uh, he made up for it. And talk to me about my J. Sanders and how he played. Yeah, he made, that was his best game as a pro. Uh, run game, a couple of those um, quarterback read type plays when they put in their backup quarterback to run that, that zone read and, and that QB power stuff. Um, that's not easy to defend, and, and he played it perfectly and then obviously had the big strip sack. But he he keeps coming on. His his practice habits have just gotten better and better, and when he goes on scout team, he goes a million miles per hour, and it's paying off for him when he's getting the live reps. We talked about him a little bit last week. It was kind of lost in the shuffle, but Rondale Moore, another really good game. These last three weeks, he seems to be turning a corner. Yeah, he is, and, and that's just being able to be out there. You know, his – career so far and even his last couple years of college there was just some injuries that that kept him out of rhythm and um watching him detail it up and he reminds me of christian kirk with his details and how he works and his blocking and just whatever you ask him to do he's going to try and do it at a high level and then his his run after catch stuff is as good as anybody in the league and we just got to keep finding ways to get him the ball cliff what do we know about zach Ertz and his health yeah we'll see the next couple of days how that plays out um they're going to run some more tests and, and probably won't be able to go this week and, and we'll just see where it goes from there Talking to Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury, now you have this game that really defines your season at this point, and it's in Mexico City. It's Monday Night Football. There's all this extra stuff on top of it. You got the Hard Knocks cameras around here. Uh, is, is this the point now where you don't even say anything to your guys about how big the game is? Because I'm assuming they already know. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, this is an incredible experience, first off, to be able to go to that stadium, that legendary stadium, and play in front of 100,000 plus fans, and um, then play a division opponent who's you know one of the Super Bowl favorites, who's playing at a really high level. It's it's going to be a great game and a great experience, and our guys will be fired up for this one. How are you going to handle the quarterback position this week? Yeah, we'll see how how Kyler feels um, playing a team like the 49ers. You better be full speed if you're going to play against them, and so we want him to be 100 percent where he can take off and do the things he does, and we'll just have to go day by day with it. He's the number one overall pick, and, and obviously got the big contract. But are there elements of what Colt McCoy does that he could incorporate into his game that he's he's still learning? Yeah, I think every you know young quarterback is always going to be trying to evolve and and build and learn and uh, he's very fortunate to have a guy like Cole McCoy in that quarterback meeting room with him and that guy's been a a godsend to all of us here um, because of that his knowledge of the game work ethic all the things he does and on top of that he's played at a really high level for us so I think he's always learning from Colt and um, it's been been a great relationship did you guys watch the tape together just curious as to whether or not you guys sitting in a room did you watch it together Cliff yeah they they watched it um, with the quarterback's coach uh, today actually probably doing it right now so okay They'll sit in there together, um, talk through things, and um, just see what they liked, what they didn't like, and how we can get better moving forward. Coach, we appreciate the time as always. Congratulations, and uh, good luck in Mexico. Appreciate it, fellas. Thanks, Cliff.